have with me today some rare cactus fruits. Now, I've reviewed uh, a few cactus fruits in the past, different kinds of dragon fruits. Those are all um, those are all cactuses. I've reviewed prickly pears. Those are also cactuses. Those are the most common ones that you will see. However, there are thousands of different cactus fruits out there in the world. Before I go into this, um, should you go out in the world and start picking cactus fruits and eating them? I don't know. Don't take my word for, uh, for this, if this is a safe thing to do. I've heard that eating cactus fruits is okay, that there are no poisonous ones out there. But a uh, little information can be a dangerous thing because we all know that there are um, there's like peyote out there. That's a cactus. If it's gonna kill you, probably not, but it could make you start tripping out. I, possibly. I'm not too sure. It could make you sick. I, I haven't done like a whole lot of research. I'm just using like the little bit of information that I have that uh, cactus fruit should at least be mostly edible. And I'm going to run with that and hope that I don't get sick. So uh, if you want to be doing this, I would say go out there and do some research first. And by the way, mind any background noise you hear, they're like blowing up the apartment next to mine. So I, I don't know what that's about. But, uh, okay, so the first two fruits I have are these ones. These are both from the genus... Cylindropuntia. Cylindropuntia. I'm probably saying that wrong, um, but here's one of them. And the plant that this came off of actually looked really cool. It's kind of like very stocky and like twisty looking like a little spiral. And the fruits look uh, very similar to the rest of the plant. And uh, here is a, another one from that same genus. And this one looks a little bit like prickly pears that are out there in the world. It's just obviously a lot smaller. I also have two fruits from the Opuntia genus of cactuses. Uh, this guy right here. And this guy right here. This is from the same genus of cactus that we get the prickly pear from. So that's why these kind of like look a little bit like a prickly pear more than the other ones. And this one kind of just like had a regular kind of plant and this one was more interesting just because it had like a purple tinge to it. So this one's a little purpley, this one's a little red. I don't know if that means anything. Oh, it's really tough. And, <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of fruit in there. Just a lot of uh, this tough bit and a few little seeds in there. The pulp around the seeds is very slimy, but the flavor isn't that bad. The texture is awful. The flavor is like a tart, prickly pear, no sweetness. Well, a little bit of sweetness, but very low sweetness, more sour, a little bit of like a vegetable kind of flavor, like a green bean. Not too bad, like if I had like a whole bunch of these like in my yard and I wanted to do something out of them, uh, do something with them, I would like cut the, open the big ones, scoop out the seeds, and make like a, like a juice out of it or something. It doesn't have like a whole lot of flesh, but you could theoretically use it for something and it would taste pretty good. This one is uh, very sticky on the inside and does not have a whole lot of seeds. Okay, here we go. A little bit of the pulp. Also quite sticky. It's a little off-putting. The flavor is very, very mild, but it has like a little bit of like a spice to it that the other one didn't have. And that spice reminds me of, like, cinnamon. Like, real cinnamon, like the like big red gum kind of cinnamon. But if you were to take, like, half a stick of big red gum and throw it in, 
like a gallon of water and then take a sip of that water. That's the amount of cinnamon, that flavor that's in here. It's got like a little bit of a spiciness to it. But other than that, not much else. Maybe like a little bit of a vanilla taste as well. But again, highly diluted. Uh, it's so small and the flavor is so mild, I can't really see a reason to use this one, which is why people, I'm sure, don't. But, um, the flavor itself is not objectionable. It's just, like, it's too small. So if you had a bunch of these in your yard and just, like, wanted to use them and didn't mind the fact that it's going to be a painful process of digging out these little bits of pulp and getting prickers in your hands and stuff like that, then I say go for it. Yeah, that one's got a nice color to it. It's pretty sticky. I don't know if you can see that kind of, like, trailing some snotty flesh. Again, very slimy. Which is a little off-putting. Wow. Those ones were actually really good. Um, I wasn't expecting to like any of these. I'll just say that right now. It's like if you, if you took blackberries, cherries, and pears and made it into like a cotton candy. That's the kind of flavor it has. The texture is just like soft and slimy and juicy, like a piece of like aloe or something. And by the way, these things still have thorns on them, so I'm gonna get lovely like asbestos style thorns like stuck in my finger fingers as I'm doing this. So if you're doing this, I would say be very careful. Oh, this one is very seedy, and it's kind of green on the inside. Whoa! This one is sour. This one isn't as slimy. It's got a flavor kind of like, um... Granny Smith apple again. And... Star fruit. But it kind of hits like the, the sides of your tongue. With like a little bit of like a mellowness. Again, kind of like vanilla. Which is weird. I've never really gotten that flavor from other kinds of, um cactus fruit. Uh, I thought that these would taste like nothing. I thought that these would taste bitter and bad, like a lot of foraged uh, fruits tend to be. But truth is that these cactus fruits, these foraged cactus fruits, are pretty good. So I would say just from this, I don't know like the specific species of each one. I can't tell you the names of these really. Um, but I think it just goes to show you that uh, cactus fruits have a lot of variety to them. There's more out there than just the ones that we know, like the prickly pear and the uh, dragon fruit. So if you are careful, make sure you don't end up eating something that is going to make you hallucinate or die. Then I'd say uh, it's worth picking some cactus fruits up and giving it a try. Use your head. Don't blame me if you get killed, but still, go out there and explore. Who knows, you might be able to find something uh, really tasty that just grows near you. Okay, I only have one minute, so we have to make this fast. Guys, uh, click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Click that bell. I don't know what the bell does, but it probably gives an angel its wings, so click on it. That dislike button, don't click that one. Uh, go to the comments, leave a comment if you have something to say. Go to this description, because in the description there is a link to my Patreon page where you can help contribute to my channel and make it grow. There's also a link to my website where you see a backlog of videos, more information, and also uh, you can buy a t-shirt at my website now. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to the channel Smarter Every Day. Smarter Every Day is a mega contributor on Patreon. They're really helping me out. If you like what I'm doing with fruit, check out his channel because it basically covers everything involving science. It's really interesting. Also around there, there should, be, there should be a couple of videos right here. These are the videos to my next week's episode, if it's up, and last week's episode, where you can check that out. I still have three seconds, guys, so thank you so much. Bye-bye.